I'm here with UFC Ultraweight Impa Kasanganai, who returns to action on April 10th against Sasha Blahotnikov. How are you? I'm great, man. How are you? Thank you for having me on. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good that we finally get to chat after all this coordination. Um, yes, sir. I, uh, you, you just told me that you got out of practice. How was that? It was awesome. We had um, uh, well, my last session of the day, we had kickboxing with Coach Henry Hooft. Um, that was really cool. I'm here at Sanford and um, South Florida. So it was really, really good. Got a lot of work with awesome partners and, you know, working on improving every day bit by bit. So it was, um, it was a lot of fun. That's awesome. Um, so b b b before we talk about your fight with Sasha, um, I, have, I have a couple of questions. Um, how do you say your nickname and what does it mean? <laughs> My fight name is Chilobo and uh, it means mighty warrior under God. My dad gave it to me. Um, it's like King, Mighty Warrior, Warrior. And um, it's, a, it's a name my dad gave me before my first amateur fight, and it's going to be with me forever. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I was, I was, I, I was Googling it. I was trying to figure it out. And I was, <laughs> yeah. I, I, <laughs> Very traditional name. My parents are from Congo in Central Africa, so that's my dad's tribe. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, and then I'm sure you've been asked about your fight last fight seven billion times um but I've, I've always been fascinated about how uh, athletes react to their first professional loss um sometimes it hinders them sometimes athletes are just happy to get that zero off off their record um now that it's been five months how has it like mentally affected you i mean it made me better i mean i look at it like i didn't like the fact that i lost but i thought it was an opportunity to get better um mentally affected me in a way like it maybe it just challenged me. It just said how how am I gonna respond? Um, what am I gonna be from this? Who do I become now? And it's not because I lost or my record was you know changed to eight and one. It's more like who do I become now as a person? How to become a better person? What adjustments do I make? And I'm gonna start demanding the best for myself. And uh, it it was like a it was a cool it was a, not a cool moment as far as losing. Um, but the lessons are cool. The the person I'm becoming, I'm, I'm loving. You know, I realize when you have a challenge and you, you, you and, and you, when you have when you face a challenge, like there are two ways. So I can become so much better than I ever was before that fight, in that fight, and who I'm going to be from that day forward in life. So um, it didn't destroy me. You know, it's more like it, it challenged me to be find the best version of myself and I'm enjoying it. That's it. That's awesome to hear. That's awesome to hear. Um, I know how much you love to compete. Um, I mean, you fought six times in 2019. How hard was it to, to uh, sit out for, I guess, five months, basically? It wasn't hard um, to sit out. It was more like I, this is the first time I really had more than a month or so to train for a fight. It was, um, it's been, it's been awesome. Like the, the fighting part, waiting, waiting for the fight hasn't been hard. Um, you know, life has had challenges. I mean, I moved, I transitioned. Uh, I spent more time with my family. I've gotten to, you know, even like a really a better place in my life. Um, waiting for a fight is like it came right when God had it for me, and the, the perfect time. So I'm, I'm grateful. Really, I'm. I'm absolutely doing what I love every single day. Sorry. Um, uh, for me, it's it's cool, man. I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna like I've I've already been through waiting for a fight, and when I after the first of my final contender series, it took me about a a year, a year before I even got a fight. Like you know, so <laughs> I'm I've been through it before I waited, and I realized you you can only get better from that, and I thank God for it, man. Um, sorry, I'm probably walking. I just got to practice to make sure my phone doesn't die. Um, okay. So uh, there are a couple of big changes for you. You are training at Sanford MMA and you're dropping down to welterweight mm -hmm. for the first time. Um, first, tell me about your decision to go to Sanford MMA. So going to Sanford, and then sorry, I'm getting some light for you here real quick. Um, going to Sanford was a decision by, um, it, was, it was a family decision. It was a group decision. My coach from back home, North Carolina, Jeff Jimmo. I mean, I don't train on him anymore. But I appreciate him because, you know, he recommended that I come down here, you know, <clears throat> recommended that I come to Sanford and be around guys, you know, who are, who just, you know, who I'll be challenged more in a different way. You know, I have a lot more training partners, different looks. I'm 
still new in this. So for me, it's been, it's been awesome. It's been a growing process. It's been challenging. It's been, it's been filled with different kind of um, books every single day. I really, really enjoyed it. I really, really enjoyed it. I've um, been blessed beyond measure to be here. So it's been pretty, pretty cool. I am waking up in the morning doing what I love. And it's been, it's been just a great environment. The team's awesome. And the coaches are awesome. The environment's awesome. So a lot of things that inspired it is just like um, being around guys who are getting after it every day, guys who are, um, you know, challenge me every single day. Um, sorry, I keep saying, um, <laughs> yeah, I just what, what influenced me to come to Sanford was, you know, just being the best version of myself out there, being challenged by training partners who are getting after it every single day. You know, I was at an awesome gym, amazing coach, um, great people, just needed more partners who were there consistently and able to train more. So that's what brought me here and at Sanford. We got it every day, different looks, different people, wisdom, knowledge, just um, people who are striving to get the best version of themselves out there. And it's been awesome. Um. And you said that you moved to to Florida. Mm -hmm. I moved. I'm here full time now. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, then welterweight. You're you're, you're uh, dropping down to welterweight. Um, mm -hmm. What what went into that decision, and also how hard of a cut is that going to be for you? Um, so what went into that decision was a coaches and uh, decision. Like my agents and everybody, we were we were talking, and they looked at me. I think I was actually standing next to a. Especially after a couple of times, I've always been like, hey, what happens if you went to Walter Wade? Not just here, here, um, here at Jimmo when I was in North Carolina. It's always like something that's been tossed in the air, but never really happened until now. We were we were in training and it was, what was it? It was like when I first got here almost. And the coach was like, we thought about Walter Wade. I was like, I mean, I've heard about it. I've like, heard about it, talked about it before. Um, we, you know, we've, we've not played with the idea, but just, you know, thought about it. And then another day, Coach goes, we're standing up to Phil Hawes and Anthony Johnson. And he goes, look, you have a welterweight, a middleweight, and a light heavyweight. And I was like, actually, actually, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a middleweight. He's like, uh-huh, yeah. And then, you know, there's like, then I was like, you know what? I want the challenge. You know, my goal is to do something that's never been done before. Do something special. Why not go get the 70, 85, 205, and heavyweight title as my career grows? And I was like, you know, maybe that's God opening that door. And I don't want to just reject an idea. When I came out here, when I came out here to Sanford, it was like everything was a, a new idea. You know, for me, a clean slate. I lost my last fight. Yeah. Um, God was, you know, I've been, I've been tested in different ways. Everybody has their own test, and this is part of mine. And I was like, you know, I'm open to new things. I'm open to new ideas and recovery methods, new training methods, new ways to eat, ways to talk to people, just everything in my life new and excitingly for what's, for what's better and what's to come. And part of that was, you know, I guess the 170, you know, stepping into the 170 division. And I'm excited about it, man. I'm excited that, like, things are going well. Weight's great. I'm still eating really well. And, not like depleting myself. Training's going super well. Um, I feel better and the more my weight goes lower. So it's like, that's cool. And 185 really wasn't a tough cut or anything. So it was like, um, I'm, I think you should always look for the challenges in life, man. It's not like something you should just sit there and go, hmm, should I ever go for this, you know? And surrounded by a great team, um, Dr. Peacock. He's our strength and conditioning coach, but also a professor. And put me through the lab and did some testing. So that's been cool. The UFC has been super helpful in that. I mean, I'm going to obviously, you know, consult with them before my next fight about just see the best way to get down to 170 and do it the best way. Um, I have my friend, Seki Delfino, who is wonderful. You might've seen him in my stories on Instagram, but he's a great guy, passionate about nutrition, nutrition consultants who do me every day through it. And then I have, um, you know, my, my girlfriend, she's a, uh, She's awesome, and she has her own meal prep company, and she's very um, on me about my nutrition. So I got people around me keeping me accountable, and I, I love the challenge. I'm excited. What? Uh, how much do you weigh right now? Right now, uh, 191, 190. So I'm in a great place, man. I'm fully hydrated, eating all the time, eating well. You know, doing just 
you know, gradually getting down to where I need to go. So it's been, it's been awesome, man. I've always, I've always said um, that your top three best bodies in the UFC. So Thanks, I'm man. sure you're going to be even more yoked going down to 170. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, my man. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Um, all right. Shout out to my parents. Shout out to my, my ancestors. You know, they've been blessing me, you know, just uh, going, getting my way down there, man. And uh, we're going to do that all the way classes, right? So <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> That's right. Um, and then finally at a Stanford, who are you training for or training with for your fight with uh, Sasha? Man, I don't really pick and choose here at Stanford. I'm, I'm brand new, man. I'm, I'm grateful to train. I mean, I get the coaches, right? I have Coach Jones teaching me wrestling on a new level. I have uh, Coach Stroud coming, uh, Coach Hoot, our head coach, man. Sean Soriano has been teaching me a lot. You know, I've been just blessed. Uh, just so many guys. But, you know, I worked with Phil Hawes a bunch. He's been a really good partner. Coach Rocha, Wagner Rocha is just an amazing coach. Amazing just mentor, man. You know, I really enjoy working with him. I worked with, you know, guys like Sato, um, 170 in the UFC. Uh, Ange, Tyler Ray, guys who are coming up, in, is, is at least in the divisional rankings, you know, like your regional rankings. Uh, Delano. Like, I mean, today, uh, some, you know, some awesome guys, guys who've been in the game for a while today, with Rory McDonald, you know, Gilbert Burns, you know, but it's just a lot of the guys that, you know, people don't hear about that, you know, that help us fighters in, in the UFC get better. These guys will be in the UFC one day. So I have to give them their shout outs and their shine, you know, because they help me so much, man. They still teach me so much. Like Delano, man, he's a special, special guy. Delano Taylor, he's been a great partner. Some days like, we get to work together, some days we don't. Um, uh, Ahmed, we've started working together. Uh, Derek Brunson, who has been a really, really cool partner, man. Just different looks and different guys. Uh, Key man, Diop, just so many, so many guys, man. Just every single day, it's a new guy, new person. Andre Fiala, he's a great partner, friend, challenges me. And this guy after guy, man. And everybody else that I get a role in jiu-jitsu with at Coach Rocha's school. And, and it's, been, it's been a blessing. Yeah, well, it's a bunch of killers. A bunch of killers. Yeah, a lot, <laughs> man. Um, so uh, let's talk about your fight with, with Sasha. Um, how do you like that as a matchup for your return fight? I'm grateful, man. I mean, I respect Sasha. He's a good fighter. You know, he comes to fight. He's he's um, he's crafty. He's creative. He's he's tough, man. He's he's a he's a fighter, and I, and I respect that. I, I I take it as a sign of respect. He came off a win. He fought well his last fight. He went over the world. He's had experience, and, and I'm looking forward to claiming his victory. And you know, just just respecting him, man. He comes from an awesome gym. Um, and great experience. So I'm just I'm excited, man. I'm grateful. Um, did you watch his last fight? I did. I did. What, yeah. What was your, I guess, just your 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 take on his on his fight? Take on his fight that he's he's, he's, a, he's a he's a good fighter, and I respect him. That's that's what it is. Like I just I respect his heart. I respect the way he comes to fight. I respect the fact that he kept going um, no matter what. Uh, in a way, hurt early, but was resilient enough to be composed and get back to it. Didn't stop fighting. Didn't stop moving. He fought a tough guy, a guy who came to fight, and I think that, that was this says a lot about his character as, as a fighter, at least, right? And um, you know, people say everybody's tough in the UFC, yes, and he, he showed what he needs to do um, to claim victory in that fight. You know, now I'm looking forward to it and sitting there and doing my job. Um, and then just two final things for you. Um, what is your prediction for your fight with uh, Washington? Yeah, my predictions for the fight is meant to go out there and do my job, you know, be disciplined, be structured, control myself out there, push the pace, you know, pressure and, and do my job, claim victory. I'd love to, you know, finish a fight would be great. I mean, that's what I see myself doing. And also to just man, being disciplined out there. That's it. Be disciplined, dominate the fight from start to finish and put the rest of God's hands, man, go out there, do my job. And then um, when we see Impa Kasang and I on April 10th, new gym, new weight class, new man, what, what should we expect to see? Let's see the best version of myself, man. Um, I've been seeing a version that's been through challenges. You're going to see a version that's a version, a version that's been through, been through life, man, and just a person who's going there to fight for something bigger than himself, many, many things bigger than myself, and a person to be relentless, 
passionate and uh, posing my will. That's what I'm going there to do, man. And I'm claim victory, enter with respect, leave with respect, and ready to fight again right away. So, awesome. How many times do you want to fight in, in, uh, in, in 2020, 2021? Fight, fight, uh, 2021, how about that, huh? Yeah. Um, I'd fight, uh, well, Happy New Year, by the way. <laughs> I can still say that, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to fight five to seven times this year. You know, still get going, man. Like, you know, fight every quarter of the year. We're on pace to do that. So that's at least four, and then, you know, two to three short notices or, you know, whatever you call it short notice, a month, a month in advance, a week in advance, whether it's 85, 170, I'm ready to go. That's awesome. Thank you so much for, ta uh, for taking the time to uh, talk with me. Um, if you want to shout just your uh, social media and shout your sponsors, the, uh, the floor is yours. And yeah, I just want to say thank you uh, for having me on. I really appreciate it. So just excited to you know, talk some more and maybe talk after the fight. Uh, I uh, want to say thank God. You know, thank God for the opportunity to be here. Thank for everybody at Sanford, all the coaches, and you know, receiving me down here. Uh, thank you to the gym that I was at before. Everybody at Jimmo, Coach Jimmo, his family. Um, I appreciate y'all. Uh, all the training partners, man. It's been been an awesome transition down here. I want to say thank you. You know, just to all my training partners. That's been really, really cool. Uh, State and Liberty, thank you for the clothing. Thank you to 10,000 CC. Thank you to Liberty Performance, The Fit United, uh, Larray Athletic Club. Just uh, appreciate y'all. Um, I want to say thank you to Dish Bliss by Dara. That's been really, really helpful. Uh, that's my, my girlfriend's company, you know, Secu Delfino. Uh, my social media handles, Instagram, InputK5. You can follow my YouTube channel. It's under my name, InputKasan and I. Uh, you can see my Twitter at King Impa, and those are the main accounts that I use right now. So thank you. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much, Impa. Man, I appreciate you. Thank you. God bless.